Hello everyone, in today's video I thought we'd do an interesting experiment in determining whether or not you can safely operate a plane using synthetic vision alone. So what we have here is we're sitting at a lovely Bradley International Airport and as you can take a look by the uh, weather, we are a bit on the socked in amount. Now we're not going to do anything fancy like an instrument approach, we're just going to fly this plane just with a little built-in flight simulator and see what happens here. So ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling terribly confident here, but we're going to make the best of it. Alright, let's do it. So here comes our initial. This is basically a zero zero takeoff. This kind of reminds me a little bit of flying, uh, what is it, the Dark Star, which has got that little teeny tiny display that's absolutely worthless. And all we're going to do, like I said, is uh, basically rip around the pattern real quick and uh, see just how close we can get to actually getting this thing safely on the ground. I'm, I feel like I can get away with it. I just don't think it's going to be terribly safe. All right, give it a tug. Oh, I don't like this at all. I mean, I appreciate like the little half heads up display that I'm getting right now. If you look out the window, though, look at this. This is one of the coolest things with this kind of fog. Oh, there goes the ground. Oh, oh, <laughs> this makes me nervous. Now, I was talking to a person who had quite a few hours of flying aircraft, and one of the things they said is they had synthetic vision on their Cessna 208s, and they said it was great. Like, you literally, oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> this is dangerous. And he was actually going so far as to say that it's, it's perfectly fine. It's like, as long as it's working and everything's uh, configured properly and you haven't done anything silly like to knock it out of alignment or your GPS is uh, misbehaving, everything works really, really well. Obviously, in the real world, you'd have a little bit of glitch to it because the uh, whole unit itself would probably be constantly trying to like reacquire your position and you'd have little glitches, but I'm sure there's a system that kind of stabilizes it a little bit as well. Let's go pop into our left downwind here. Oh my gosh, I hate this so much. There we go. That's about 1,200 feet. My brain wants to look out the left window so hard right now. You have no idea. Let's look over on that side and level this off. Yeah, this thing just wants to climb. All right, so far so good. So far so good. I don't think anything's bad here. Wish I had some procedural things to tell you here, but I really don't because I don't know that this is a recommended procedure. Yep, my head turned. I wanted to look so hard out the left window to see how I'm doing. Oh, it is also very, very turbulent too. So far so good though. I'm not complaining. All right, so just about to beam the numbers, I think. <laughs> this is so weird. Let's take a look. Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. All right, let's uh, start a descent. Pull that throttle nice and far back. Pull that nose up. We get 10 degrees of flaps right away on this version of the 172. And we're just going to kind of fly it. Looks good so far. I don't see anything weird. I really appreciate that in little inset there. Makes it a little bit simpler. Second notch of flaps. I'm guessing that's a beam. Yeah, we're, right. Oh my god. Didn't mean to do that. Whoa. There we go. Sweet. Coming to our base turn. <laughs> if you want to call it that. Alright. That's a base. And uh, let's go ahead and pull final here. Stall spin awareness. 65. That's what we're looking for. I just want to change my view so bad. It's, 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 oh, it's ridiculous. Okay. And we're coming down. Um, I can tell you right now we're way too high. It's playing a little bit of slip. Yeah. Now I'm slipping the plane using synthetic vision real safe. There we go. 1200 feet per minute should get us down pretty quick. The problem is I don't know how exaggerated it is. Oh, this is so dangerous. So far, so good. So far, so good. Who needs uh, an ILS approach when you got this, right? All right? I feel like I'm getting critically low here, so I'm going to come out of my slip. There we go. Oh my gosh, I have no idea where the ground is. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, we hit the ground. Back in the air. Oh, we're up high now. That was up. Whoa. Am I on the ground or what? What am I? Oh, I think we're back on the ground again. Hey, we're here. <laughs> um, uh, that was uh, that that was dangerous. I, I don't I don't know that I recommend that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it again, but uh, this time we'll try it and we'll actually um go ahead and leave myself in this vision so I can kind of improve that little last minute landing thing because I think I touched the ground more than I care to admit to. All right. 
speed up. Yeah, we're definitely like the view is not quite right. Like it's tilted a little tiny bit. It's just it's just weird. Also of how like you can see a little bit of reflections here. All right, let's try that again. Oh my gosh, I don't like this. Okay, ready for gray. It's gonna get very, very, very gray again. All right, there we go. I'm gonna let that nose come down a little bit. This thing just does not want to climb today. Kind of hot outside. I think that has something to do with it. There we go. Now we're cruising okay. One thing I'm gonna do differently this time, though. Aha! Zoom in. Make it a little bit safer. All right, let's go ahead and take our left turn, set ourselves up for a downwind here. Oh man, I don't like this. There is our crosswind. Oh, we gotta come to the left a little more for crosswind. All right, let's go ahead and pull it to downwind. It's very difficult to be by the numbers. And we've just about got it set for downwind. And there's downwind. For the record, in the real world, it's a lot easier to maintain your altitude. I don't know what it is with the simulator. It's just extra touchy. Try to trim this thing out the best I can. I am flying through a cloud right now. Yeah, we're just going to enjoy it. This is very strange because I'm looking down, but I'm still trying to look up every once in a while also. That's good speed right there. Don't need any slower than that. It's kind of relaxing though. I mean, like, there's an airport down there somewhere. I mean, I think it's down there. We'll find out. Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I'm getting pounds so bad right now. And there's the beams. We're going to go ahead and drop a notch of flaps. We'll throttle back a little bit. Get ourselves coming down about 500 feet per minute. Down, I say. Down. Down. This does not want to sink. Don't sink. No, sink. 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 <laughs> Let's go ahead and pop that first click of flaps. Actually, we have number two clicks of flaps. Come base. Oh, man, this is not cool. There's base right there. I, I want to look out the window so badly, I have no idea. I'm actually going to put my last notch of flaps down. I feel like we're going to be high again. All right, let's come for final. And we're going to be just a little wide, but that's okay. And there's the runway again. Told you. Do a little slip. I like the couple of raindrops I just saw. Nice touch. There's the runway. Now I'll go ahead and transition to a visual landing. Oh yeah, the height from my seat to the ground definitely does not look like my height to that synthetic vision. That made a difference. And then we have a crosswind also. That's okay. I don't understand how this aircraft got down to 40 before it stopped flying, but that happens. Okay, so uh, thoughts. Um, this is dangerous. I, I really, really do not recommend this technique. Uh, if you're going to try this in the real world, it was probably an emergency. But at the same token, is it is kind of nice as far as like just visually kind of seeing where the runway is. And doing the combined where you're looking out the window and looking at the synthetic vision, that's not bad. And again, there's no instrument approach here. This was a visual digital approach which I guess it's a brand new type of approach. But other than that, enjoy.